Hi guys, uh, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. Guys, uh, today in this video, we are going to focus on a very interesting interview question, uh, which I faced a number of time. Uh, that is a routed protocol uh, versus a routing protocol, the difference between these two protocols. Uh, before uh, moving forward, before starting this video, I would like to dedicate uh, this video to my friend who called up me in the last week uh, saying that he faced this interview question and he was not uh, probably, uh, probably able to answer this uh, question or explain this uh, difference between a routed protocol and routing protocols in his interview. Uh, eventually, he failed that interview. So guys, let's start uh, with this uh, PPT which I have made is a very small PPT which I have made for this interview question. So guys here is the uh, routed protocols and routing protocols the difference between them. So uh, first of all a similarity between them both this uh, protocols uh, they work at network layer that is the layer 3 of OSI model. So routed protocols and routing protocols both exist at network layer. Guys, do remember this point. Routed protocols are uh, used to carry user data across network. So they are uh, responsible or they carry the data, uh, the actual data, I would say actual data is the payload uh, across the network that is from the source to a destination. A routing protocol uh, tells the routers which path to be selected. Fine. Guys, explaining the difference between a routed protocol and routing protocol is a bit uh, tricky because, or because these two terms are very similar to each other, and it's it's always uh, difficult to explain the difference between them when you have s similar terms like routed and routing protocols. So, because both of them have this keyword route in them. So, I'll try to explain you uh, with some example. Uh, so, I'll start this example. Uh, guys, uh, consider uh, a group of people. I'll try to draw a group of people. So, this is a group of people. Okay. Uh, this group of people are in Pune. Okay, and uh, they want to travel to some place in India, say Bangalore. Okay, now they are going to travel uh, via bus. So I will try to draw a bus here. Uh, so my drawing is very, very poor. So this is my bus. Guys, please understand this is the bus, okay. This is the bus. And of course, they're going to travel via bus. So uh, they're going to travel by road. Uh, so they have, um, I can say from Pune to Bangalore, uh, we have multiple roads. So we'll say that this is a road one. This is road two, and the other one, which is going like this, is road three. So we have three roads: road one, road two, and road three. So we have this people. We have this bus. And there will be someone who is going to tell or who is going to decide which road to be selected. Whether road 1, road 2 or road 3 should be selected to travel from Pune to Bangalore. This is the scenario. Now, let's come back to our question. A routed versus a routing protocol. So in networking terms, uh, we'll compare this Pune has the source, correct? So this is the source. Uh, Bangalore will be the uh, destination. 
or this group of people i'll say as uh, data that is the actual uh, payload and this bus i'll say the bus as a uh, routed protocol and the one who is going to decide which route to be selected i'll say it as a routing protocol fine so the bus is the one who is going to actually carry the people from source to destination that is from pune to bangalore so data is going to be actually carried by the routed protocol and the one who is going to decide which road is a routing protocol because the routing protocols are going to decide or tell the routers which part to be selected so guys i'll try to explain you uh, this again with uh, help of some network diagram so please do remember like you know you can compare this example with the one which i'm going to explain you so please remember like a uh, people uh, which are uh, people as the uh, uh, data bus as a routed protocol and someone who is going to decide the road out of these three roads is the routing protocol so i'll try to explain you with help of uh, a network diagram also uh, so guys uh, uh, consider a pc uh, for example i'll take it as an pc 1 this is connected to a switch a lan switch uh, getting connected to a default gateway say r1 and this again is getting connected to some other routers this is getting connected to a router fine say this is r2 and this is getting connected to a, another lan switch which is getting connected to a server so this is the server i'll say this server as www.techstuff.com now this pc one wants to access this server fine so this pc is going to be the source the server is going to be the destination the actual data the payload which is going to going to be sent going to be traveling from pc 1 to the server will be carried by routed protocols so compare it as a bus when and a routing protocol is going to tell this router which path to select in order to reach the server that is uh, to select path number 1 path number 2 or path number 3 so guys uh, this is what actually uh, is the difference between a routed protocol and a routing protocol so the router protocols are the one uh, who actually carries uh, the uh, data from from across the network we can say across the network it actually carries the data so which includes uh, protocols like ip ipx uh, routing protocols are the one who tells the routers which path to select uh, in routing protocols there are number of routing protocols a uh, rip ospf eigrp uh, bgp etc uh, so guys uh, you can explain uh, this kind of explanation sort of in an interview uh, so as to uh, try to clear this question because it's bit a tricky question uh, so guys i hope uh, you like this video uh, for the notes of this video i'll upload this notes on the blog as well so i'll uh, also uh, paste the description uh, the link of this uh, of my blog in the uh, description so do please visit my blog also um, if you really like my videos uh, uh, please do share my videos uh, please do comments on my videos so that i'll come up uh, with more videos like this if you have any queries 
or uh, any such interview questions uh, please do write me on amar.textafederate.gmail.com i'll try to revert you on that mails uh, so guys for now i'll say goodbye and uh, i like to say thank you and have a nice day thanks